hi students we are going to see a fifth unit in a embedded system that is embedded system applications and development so first of all we are going to see a applications so uh, there are five applications washing machine automotive application smart card system application atm machine digital camera so these five application is a separate 13 marks in your university question paper it is very important thing so first of all we are going to see about washing machine so what is washing machine so washing machine is nowadays it in all our homes washing machine is nothing but it is a one electronic device so in that electronic device we have some embedded system parts that is sensors actuators control unit and application specific interfaces like keyboards and display unit keyboards and display unit is used for giving inputs and outputs uh, next we are going to see about parts of the washing machine first part is actuator so actuator is used to control the washing operation right so in that actuator there are some parts right that is motorized agitator dumbbell dump water drawing pump and inlet wall these all the things will come into the actuator controlled so motor agitator is used to wash our clothes next water drawing pump is used to to draw the drawn water require draw a required amount of water to washing the clothes next we are going to see a sensors sensors there are two types of sensors first one is water temperature sensor next one is level sensor water temperature sensors are used to measure the temperature of the water drawn into the washing machine next one level sensor level sensors are used to measure the how much amount of water filled inside the water drum next we are going to see about control unit so control unit have microprocessor microcontroller based board right it will be interfaces to sensors and actuator why it is interfacing to sensors and actuators so to get the feedback from the sensor date sensor and it provide record amount of required output to the actuator right so in so both sensors and actuator will be interfaces to what control unit that is microprocessor and microcontroller so sensor give a feedback to the control unit based upon the feedback it provide control operations to the actuator next user feedback so user feedback means for us we can see a output through the display and led connected to that control board next we are going to see about functional block diagram in the functional block diagram see all the parts are neatly explained in this diagram so next washing machine models washing machine just we see a, a video. washing machine or washer is a machine designed to clean laundry such as clothing towels and sheets hand operated washing machines appeared in the 1850s the first modern machine was developed in 1910 by an American, Alva J. Fisher. To understand top-loading washing machines, let's look at these shared characteristics. Tub on a vertical axis, central agitator, motor and a pump, fill valve, timer and selector switches, clutch and brake mechanism, motor coupler and or belt. The tub is where you put the clothes. In most washing machine brands, this tub has hundreds of small holes that allow the water to flow through to an outer tub. The outer tub is solid and holds the water. At the center of the inner tub is an agitator. The agitator pivots clockwise and counterclockwise about three-fourths of a revolution, plunging clothes through water to wash them. Clothes keep moving from the top of the tub down to the bottom and back again. This motion along with friction caused by clothes rubbing together allows detergent and water to reach every nook and corner of your load and loosens soil. The motor drives the agitator during the wash cycle and spins the clothes during the damp, dry or spin cycle. The pump removes the water from the tub and lifts it out to the drain. The fill valve which is about the size of a coffee cup is something also called a water inlet valve. It controls the entry of hot and cold water into the machine. The timer runs the washing machine in a predetermined pattern. 
It provides the electricity to all of the washing machine components at the correct time and for the correct settings. For example, the water temperatures, spin speed, timer cycle and so on. So finally, we are going to see a, uh, see a input interfaces, output interfaces and other type of interfaces connected in the washing machine. So input interfaces means water type selector, cloth type selector, washing time setting. Sorry, first one is washing type selector. Washing type selector means you need to wash or spin or rinse. Wash means it used it wash our cloths. Spin means it rotate. Rinse means it will Rinse means it will rinse our cloths. Next second one is cloth type selector. So cloth type selector means light, medium and heavy duty. There are three options, right? So for example, if you need to wash a bed sheet, right? So it is a heavy cloth, right? So if you, uh, for for washing the bed sheet, you need to select a heavy duty mode. If you, uh, if you select a heavy duty mode, based upon that application, the washing machine will be function next washing time setting you already in the video you have seen there is a predefined timer right so if you set a particular time for washing means it will complete uh, washing in uh, washing in that particular predefined time next output interfaces led lcd displays right so led and lcd displays are used as a output devices next status indications leds next other types of sensors are sensors interfaces and activated interfaces so first sensor interfaces means already you have seen there are two sensors used here water temperature sensor water level sensor next raw next activated interfaces means and as an activator we have agitator the moment control inlet water flow control these all be controlled through activator interfaces so these all the things are very important in the washing machine so it is a very important 30 mark for anna university questions please go through it and learn it thank you